What's up YouTube, it's your boy Deshaun checking in once again and I'm back again with another video, man. You already know how it go, man. If you're new to the channel, you're feeling the vibes, comment down below with the bell and subscribe. Yes, sir. Okay, so today I have been blown up with one question from a lot of people. How do you get the car on the trailer and make it stay without a script? I got you, fam. I got you so this is gonna be a quick video i'm gonna, not only am i gonna show you guys how to uh get the car on the trailer using menu that's the way i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you guys how to do it using menu um but i'm also gonna show you <clears throat> because i got this question also how to change the color of the grill on Corey's truck all right so um go ahead and download me you guys if you don't already have it I'll show you guys real quick for all my newbies. You're going to come to GTA5Mods.com, go to the search bar, and you're going to simply type in menu, M-E-N-Y-O-O, -O. boom. It's going to be this thing that looks like uh, the inside of your stomach after you leave Taco Bell. This is exactly what you're looking at right here. All right, so what you're going to do is come down here to current. You're going to hit that download button right there, and it's going to bring you to this page. You want to come right here to where it says menu sp.zip. It's going to have 4.97 megabytes right here. You're going to click right here on the blue lettering. Boom. You're going to see a download, especially if you got that T-Mobile home internet. Big brr. Big brr. All right, once you got that downloaded, what you're going to do is open up your main GTA 5 directory. Boom. And you're gonna open up your downloads folder and what I'm doing I'm coming right here to this folder and I'm right clicking and then it'll let me select a folder I want to open all right we're gonna open up menu SP double click get rid of this WinRAW crap or just pay for it but why pay for it when it's free um, all right now well all we're gonna do is we're going to grab menu.asi Hold control. We're gonna click on menu stuff. Let control go. And for those of y'all who don't know, the purpose of that is so you can select multiple files and skip over files and select stuff, whatever. And all we're gonna do is simply make sure you're in your GTA 5 grand blah, 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 blah. Make sure you're in your main GTA 5 directory, not your scripts folder, not your mods folder, just the directory drag and drop in your main directory in an empty space just like that it's gonna ask me to replace it but i ain't gonna do it because i already got it but if you ain't got it go ahead and do it boom and it will look uh, yes and it will look like this you'll see the menu stuff folder here all right and if you scroll down you will see menu.asi right here and you're all done installing menu okay now to get to the nitty gritty the nitty gritty first i'm gonna show y'all how to change the color on Corey's truck on the on the grill because you can change the color you can change all the colors but that grill remains lime green so i'm gonna show y'all what to do all right so you want to open up your dlc packs folder if you're in the main gta5 directory you want to hit mods right here update x64 and DLC packs. The name of that vehicle is 18F350L. So you want to click on that junk right there. Double click. And you want to double click on this DLC. If you don't see DLC, if it's, if it's got WinRAR, if it's got anything other than this symbol, you right click. You go to Open With. You go to More Apps. If you don't see open IV up here, you go to more apps. Then you go to look for another app on this PC. And you're going to go to desktop right here. Just follow the simple instructions. You're going to click on open IV and hit open. Once you do that, going forward, when you click on a DLC, you should see that. That's what we want. So let's go ahead and click on that DLC for the 18F350L. All right, 
but you know what? I think I'm going to start adding a little soft background music to my videos. Let's try it now. All right, that sound a little bit better. A little live, a little nice. All right, now we're going to get this pop up right here. First thing we're going to do is hit edit mode. Yes, always. Now, anytime you want to change color or texture or anything like that, or you know what we're doing, always go to X64. Always X64. No matter what vehicle it is, this is the same path for any vehicle. X64 levels GTA 5. Never click on anything else. Just the same X64 levels GTA 5. Some 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 of it might be right here, but you might see another photo say vehicle on some vehicles. Click that vehicles.rpf. And boom, you want to go until you see these three files, the YFT file, high.yft, and the YTD. All right, some vehicles going to have several right here, but this is what you want to see. The fragment objects in the texture dictionary. Now, what we're going to click on is the YTD file. We're going to double click on the texture dictionary, okay? All right, we're going to scroll down until we see this grip this picture right here and this picture right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on this joint right here we're gonna hit export all right very important because if you don't do this it will not work click on this save as type make sure you save it as a PNG file excuse me a PNG image once you do that hit save oh wait 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 Go ahead and save it to your desktop. Make sure you're saving it to your desktop, all right? You don't have to, but just save it somewhere where you know where it's at and you don't have to go searching for it. I'm gonna save mine on my desktop. Once I'm done, I'm gonna delete it. So that's why I put it on my desktop. All right, so save it to the desktop. We're gonna hit save, boom. And you should see it pop up over here somewhere. Boom, there it is right there, popped up right there. Now, same thing for this guy, right click, export save as type png image and save and it's going to pop up here in three two one boom now we are going to hit cancel very important cancel and we're going to leave this like it is we ain't going to touch nothing else we're going to come over here to the pictures and we're going to right click on one of them we're going to hit edit with paint 3d just real simple real easy all right, once we get this up here, uh, you can pick any color you want to, man. Uh, what color haven't I had it? Uh, let's do purple. I'm going I'm to I'm do purple. So find the color you want first. Then you're going to click on this paint bucket. Once you got the color you want, you click on the paint bucket. Go put the cursor on the lime green and just click. Boom. Now I'm going to hit save. Go up here to menu and hit save and then you can exit out and as you can see it changed the color of this one now we got to get this one so right click on the second one edit with paint 3d hit the paint bucket pick your color touch the green then once you're done hit menu and hit save exit out now they're both purple. Now we are going to click back into the uh, texture dictionary for this joint. Double click. You're going to scroll down. Where are you at? Oh, right here. All right, make it's very important. Make sure you put the right one where the right one go. If you put this one here and vice versa, I don't know what's going to happen. All right, so let's right click on this one first. Now we're going to hit replace. Click that replace. We are on the desktop. Now remember, we clicked on, I'm gonna I'm minimize that just a little bit. All right, there we go, that's cool. Put it right there. Now we clicked on, we clicked on this one. This is highlighted, so we're gonna click on this one here. Then we're gonna hit open, boom. Now we're gonna do the same thing for this one. Right click on this joint. Hit replace, come right here, open, 
and save. Now we can save it. Boom, 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 boom. Now, just to check your work, come right here to any one of these files. I just click on the high.yft file right here. Double click. And let's zoom in on that grill. Now y'all see it's purple. All right. Nice, nice. Now that we changed that, let's jump in the game so I can show y'all how to attach these trailers. Be right back, y'all. All right, guys, we are back in the game. Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> as promised, uh, I'm probably going to have a tattoo for y'all to check out tomorrow. Um, like I said, I'm trying to go full body. So, uh, you know, my partner finishing up some as we speak. And I'll probably be able to show y'all some tomorrow. But anyway, uh, we're going to take my little slingshot down here. I was just over here getting some gas. Let me slide on over here. Huh? And uh, we're going to go grab the truck, and I'm going to take y'all to show y'all how to load these cars up on the trailer, man. So let's get it. This thing ride pretty smooth, though. Have y'all drove a slingshot in real life, man? Y'all comment down below and let me know. I'm kind of I'm kind of wanting to drive one. I'm kind of wanting to see what they be about. Alright, let's go grab this truck real quick. Ride, 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 ride. I hope I got enough room to get out. Alright, that should be enough room for me to get out. Park it right there. I should be good. Should be good. Alright, so. Y'all see how the grill came out? Bang, bang. Shot you down. Bang, bang. We hit the ground. Yes, sir. Loving it. Lovely. Lovely. I'm eating lovely. Lovely. All right, let's go and get up out of here. Oh, did I hit it? Nope. Dang, look how tall that is, bro. That is crazy. Talking about looking down on somebody for real. All right, I got my trailer park right over here on the, uh, in this next coal sack they're building up. They finally getting around to finishing this construction over here. All right, first things first, let's hook up to the trailer. But we don't have to hook up to the trailer first, but matter of fact, let's put the cars on there first, then we'll hook the trailer up to it. Alright, so this is how we do this with menu. Here we got the charger right here. We're gonna put on there. And we're gonna put the can am on there. Alright, we got enough room with that one, so we're gonna do that. So first thing we're gonna do. Is we're going to push F8, is it? Yeah, no, man. No, F9. All right, we're going to pull that up, F9. Or if you're using an Xbox controller, it is going to be the top right button and right on the D-pad. All right, what that does is pulls up this little cursor. And what you can do is come right here, and you can push up to save it. You have to save it first. I've already got these saved, but I'll show you what it looks like. You're going to put the green, well, you're going to put this cross right over the vehicle you want to save. Now, right here, let me see. Oh, that's already saved. Let me find something that's not saved already. This car right here is not saved. So, if I move this 
white cross right over this card, it turns green. Right here it says add to database. You want to push up to add to database. That's step one, right? Now we've already done that. Where's our card? At? Where are we at? All right, there we go. All right, we've already done that with our cards. So we put the cursor over here. We pressed up, which I already did that for the video started. I don't want to confuse anybody. Once we push up and got whatever we want to put on the truck saved, then we're going to push Y right there where it says open main menu. Push Y. Or if you're using the keyboard, it'll tell you what to push. You'll see this menu right here, Object Spooner. What you're going to do is go down to Manage Entity Database. Click there. Then you want to find the car that you just saved. Mine is probably going to be at the bottom. I'm going to go to Show and hit Vehicles Only. Okay. Mine is probably going to be at the bottom. There it is right there, Charger 2020. So when you see that, it is going to put a little marker right above the car. If I go to Can, boom, it'll put a marker over the can. If I go to Slingshot, my Slingshot is over there in the other neighborhood. 20-foot car hauler, boom. So whatever you select... Or whatever you highlight, it's going to put a mark over there. We want to do this charger first. So we're going to hit A on the charger to select. We'll get this menu. You're going to push up. That'll take you to the bottom of the menu. You want to go right here to Attachment Options. Click on Attachment Options. And then we're going to go to Attach to Something. Something. We're going to attach to something. All right. Now we got to select what we want to attach that car to. Of course, we want to attach it to the trailer. So we're going to find a trailer, which is right here. And it's highlighted. And then we're going to select. Push A and boom. It should be attached. Where is it at? Hold on. Wait a minute. So it's attached. Do I did it? Hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Let me detach it. Attached to something. Okay, make sure you don't have keep world position when attaching. Unselect that. Make sure that's not selected. All right. Then we're going to push up and find the trailer. And boom, now it does it. All right. So once it's here, you have your X axis, your Y axis, and your Z axis. What we're going to do is use the Y because Y is going to move it front and back. So I want to bring it all the way up front. About right there. Let me zoom in here. And I'm using the thumb pads. The left thumb pad goes in and out, left and right like this. And the right thumb pad goes up, down. Two different axes. This is axis. Is axis pro? Shit, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> now we're going to go with the Z. Z brings it up and down. The Z axis is up and down. Once we get it there, let's make sure it looks realistic. Bring it down. So let's say the bottom wheel is touching before the top one. You want to go down to pitch. Pitch is going to bring it up some if needed. If you're putting them dunks on here that squat it, you're going to definitely use pitch a lot. All right, once you got it sitting the way you want to, come around, check it out. Looks nice to me. Now, I'm going to show you all real quick what X axis does. Of course, we know X is left and right. So if I hit that, it goes over this way and so on and so forth. That's what the X does. Cool. I'll leave the wheels turned. Normally, I don't leave the wheels turned, but it is what it is. Just a tutorial video. Now you're going to push B back all the way out. Now that is officially attached to that trailer. I also want to attach the Can-Am. So I'm going to go down to highlight the can. I'm going to hit A. Then I'm going to go up on the menu or go all the way down. However you want to do it. You're going to go to Attachment Options. Attach to Something. Make sure Keep World Position when attaching is not on. Take that off. Find the trailer you want to attach to. And the trailer is highlighted. And hit A. Boom. Now, same thing with this guy. You want to adjust it just a little bit. So I'm going to take my Y axis and back it up a little bit. 
there. That's fine right there. Now, this is all the way. It's kind of like down in the front a little bit. So, I know we're going to have to use our pitch. Using the Z axis to bring it up. So, I'm going to bring this all the way up a little bit. Now, I'm going to pitch. Bring it back some. And if you wanted to move faster, come up here to scroll sensitivity. And you go up to, see, it was on 100. You take it up to 1,000. It does it faster. Take it all the way up. Yeah, that should, uh, that's about right. And let's take up. Uh, ooh. Let me take that down, son. Yeah, that's fine. I can live with that. All right, once that's done, you're going to hit B and hit B again. Well, let me show y'all what happens when you have uh, attached with world position on. I'm going to detach real quick. Then I'm going to go back out, select can, attach my options, attach to something. I'm going to keep, keep world positioning on when attaching. And what that does, being that I'm already on the car, car hauler, it's going to lock right there in place. But if the vehicle is on the ground, you don't want to have that turned on. All right. Now that we are all attached, let's come out of this mod, I mean, out of this menu by pushing B. Well, you can push F9 to come out of there. Boom. So hit F9 to come out of there. Now, let's hook the trailer up to it. And now y'all ready for some role play, man. Let's get down with the RP joint, bro. Uh, I want to get the attachment on tape. All these damn Stanley trees all in the way. All right, let me go up some more. I can see about right there. I'm back on up. All these damn trees, bro. All right, I got it. I got. I got the lock on camera. All right, let's pull that thing out. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you attach the uh, whips to the trailer, man. And this works for any vehicle. If you want a trailer full of motorcycles, you got it, bro. Damn, all these trees in the way. Let's get away from here. Bro, get out of here, bro. Get out of here, bro. All right, there it is, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful to those who are asking about it. Um... Keep doing what y'all doing. We are on that 1,200 sub grind. Yeah, we hit 1,000, but the grind don't stop. It's only up from here, man. So we uh we after that 1,200 sub grind, son. You know what I'm saying? 1,200 subs. Let's make it. Let's freaking make it. 1,200 subs until we do another giveaway, y'all. So keep doing y'all thing, man. Keep running them numbers up. Keep showing love. And um, I'm also going to be using my platform to... Uh, help out other youtubers right so i'm gonna start doing a shout out y'all hit me in the discord y'all starting up a youtube channel or y'all already got one or whatever you know what i'm saying um i don't mind showing love to nobody i'm not them other guys bro i'm not them this ain't him you know what i'm saying i um i show love to any and everybody man you feel what i'm saying so uh if you got a cool head on you man you got the right energy you feel what i'm saying i don't mind supporting you bro so uh hit me in the discord I'm going to pick a day where I do shout outs on my videos and uh, hopefully that'll help you guys network a little bit more and uh, help each and every one of us, uh, everybody chasing this to uh, reach our goals a little bit faster, man. Um, other than that, we finna get this, we finna get this screenshot of this thumbnail and I'm out of here, man. Alright, let's get this thumbnail real quick. Boom, that's it. That's the thumbnail. Wait, let me walk up to the front real quick, like, cuh. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that white. Let me let me change the time, boy. There we go. That's something with hitting that white like, like, like Ike hit Tina, boy. Hey, you talking about? All right, that's a nice little thumbnail. 
four. I never did a thumbnail like this though. Cool, cool. Yeah, this is the thumbnail right here. Anyway, we out, y'all. Y'all take care. Gone.